Hey guys, this is Kikyo, back to watch some Black Lagoon. This is going to be episode 5. Last episode, we left off with Revy and Rock down below trying to get into this uh, ship for this damn painting. We have lots of trouble above. Uh, we're being attacked, and we're just going to have to grab and go. They're, they, hopefully, uh, I don't even know. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to say was that um, Revy is being a lot more, what's the word? I thought she would be a lot more rough around the edges, uh, especially with a new recruit like Rock. Um, but she seems to be like a really good, she's nice to Rock, right? She bought him a new uh, shirt. Uh, probably because she's getting sick of that suit, but still, she did buy him a shirt, uh, which I thought was really, really nice of her. Um, and she was uh, really getting on his case about uh, uh, checking his equipment before they went down under and stuff. So she's, you know, looking out for him. And I didn't initially think that she would be that kind of person, but it, I, I feel like she actually... Um, hold on to those friendships, you know? I don't know. I didn't think that she would like Rock so quickly. Does she like Rock? <laughs> she puts up with him, right? So uh, she, she, I guess, I'm guessing she does see him as a friend. Uh, they do, you know, squabble and stuff, which, you know, I'm sure she's used to that. And uh, she, um, I don't know, she, she just seems to be looking out for him, and I, I feel like uh, she has taken him as a friend fairly quickly, and uh, it's it's not what I expected, so uh, I'm fairly surprised by it, so let's hope things go well, and um, nothing tragic happens, so let's just get right into it. Oh, alright. Oh, nice dodging. Oh, they're probably gonna see, uh, what was that guy's name? They're gonna see everybody down there, man. It's gonna be rough. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.そりゃ骨ぐらいあるわな。そこら一面に転がってるよ。ここはなロック。地上に生きる人間たちに置き忘れられた墓地だ。<laughs> のぞみも死ね、死神も レビー。この人たちはどんな気持ちでここにいたんだろうか。他人の死に方は他人の死に方だ。考えたところで、への役にも立たねえぞ、ロック。そんな名簿とだけ考えな。大計牧場の決闘をこんなところでやらかして
十字章がどっかに落ちてないか金になるちょっと来てみな<笑>こいつだけ制服が違う例の親衛隊員だ絶望ってのは末期がんと同じだ失うもんなんか何もねえま細かいことは分かんねえけどともかく先にぶっ放したのはそこのゲシタポ野郎だ部下はこぞって艦長のあだをうちに挟んじその結果がこのアラモの砦りです船といや家族も同然死ぬことが決まってんのに仲間割れなんてしやしねえそん時に悶着を起こすのは部外者だけだいやこいつは記録と同じ絵だいやビンゴだブロックとっとと梱包しまえ私は残りを片付けてくる残り目になりそうなもんあさっとかねえと潜った甲斐もねえってもんだ艦長がつけてたのは白洋建築十字章ダイヤ付きの代物だタイの餌にするにはちょいと高すぎる物だろだけど、まあ、well, down there, I guess. <laughs> They're pirates, right? He knew what he was getting into, though. Come on. He knew what he was getting into, though. Come on. やつらがいるのが有望との真上だ。手出しができねえな。決済。けれ。スーサイドトゥープス。とくっふわ。きくんは異様達成に選ばれた英雄だ。きくんこそ。白人主的勇敢さを体現するものである。このような。このような歓喜の瞬間があろうか。私は。私は。感動と感類の中。例える言葉を見つけることができる。感無量であります。指揮官殿。一命に変え、神聖なる義務を遂行いたします。放火提唱。はじめ。This is they are maniacs, man. Yo, Dutch Benny, are you guys seeing this? Are you hearing this? Dutch, 見てくれ。レコードコンサートを開いてる。趣味の悪いマーチだ。聞こえてる。役立たずがてめえの布を棚上げして愉快に生きようとしたら、あっという間にマーチ好きのバカが一匹出来上がる。いうマチズモは個人的に合わない。それに僕はユダヤ系だよ。ファッキンナチはうちの君だ。<笑>そういやそうだったな。ところでビーコンはまだつかねえか。Oh yeah, that's right。先生官の中だよ。とまずいな、連中が動き始めたぞ。うん。うん。バカ。まだと潜水艦の中で鉢合わせだ。Goes the suicide squad. どうするもこうするもね。とはまだ健在だ。まったくもって無かつく話だが。蛇のようにチャンスを待つのさ、ボーイ。お目当ての十字章から、マニアが喜ぶもろもろまで。洞窟や妙理に尽きる宝の山だレディいろいろと考えたんだけどうんそいつはここに置いていこうおいおい頼むぜその勲章を手に取る権利があるとしたらそれはこの人たちだけだそうだろうその遺体の傍らに落ちていた With their family, the picture of the family. Yep, Kancho, a Kazuko, no cost a cocoa. Boker for a Mirava, Kuncho, a Tada no antique daga, no cosareta hito touch in Totawa, Kaneni Kaira and I omoited a Korea mono da rock. To cot on Imio Kangan Stakeva, no corona, so no cotoba da keda. Mono te you tango da keda. To con to coro de aratame de cacho skenos to stara. それは思い出なんて弱い事じゃねえ。その価値は万人が認める共通のテーマだ。金だよ。それ以外の価値なんぞ、干渉だらけのたわごとだ。金は、神か。力さ、神よりよっぽど役に立つ。ロック、こいつを除いて何に価値を求めるんだあんたは。神か愛か変わらずぜ
They're two different worlds speaking right now. そいつを信じられたのも それともう一つ。パーム <laughs> Damn, there they are. Have you not seen her fight, Rock? Rock. She's gonna fuck that whole ship up. Yeah, she's gonna get. She's gonna appear right in that little window. <laughs> Imagine with the gun. Trust a man. Fuck. Otto Shiyoshiro, Konokai Kyosaru. Beacon or Tomoteru. Bokankara Hanate and Anto and Nagasaratu. Ikiterika Shinderuka or Hosho Shinaikido. ああ。僕はもう移動を始めたな。そろそろ骨を拾いに行くかい。口が過ぎるぜ、ボーイ。あんたほど肝が太くないのさ。知ってるさ。ファック。物は行かれたか。団中何なんだ。すっぱりだの
bones we have, uh, this pile of bones we have, we're stealing a painting, um, we're stealing whatever is valuable, whatever we can get our hands on, because, you know, that's, that's what they do. Bringing in this mentality, look what it's gotten him. <laughs> She's got a warning from Revy. If he were to tell her what's the right thing to do, what's proper of her, that she's gonna kill him because that's not who she is, that's not how she grew up, that's not how she sees the world. You know, she, yeah, God. So, uh, although in his eyes this isn't what we should be doing, he should have known that this is how they work. We do have Dutch who just, uh, I'm guessing that he does have complete trust in Revy, but, you know, Benny's freaking out over here, like, Dutch, we need to do something, and he's just like, it's not the right time, man, and, you know, he, Benny's just kind of freaking out and behind the scenes, and Dutch is just waiting for the chance, and, you know, like he doesn't want to, but he, he's trying to be like a snake right now with these guys because they're so well equipped and all these weapons that they have, right? Now, they're just so they're just so well equipped right now, and they're very spontaneous with their attacks. You just don't know when it's gonna come. So uh, they're very aggro, <laughs> and then they had their suicide squad. Right? They got a actual suicide squad, you know, to put their life on the lines, and these guys willingly do it. It's... You know, we did get a little bit more insight about Revy and how she was beat up by the police without, you know, by doing something that she didn't even commit. And she's just so over it that all she, need was, all she needed was money and guns. And then the world was a way better place than how it was beforehand and she has a lot of hatred and uh, spitefulness against you know just all these you know ugh, just all these people who have it all and don't have a care in the world but maybe rock i'm thinking maybe rock will have a kind of influence on her to maybe drop this lifestyle that she has to just live a normal life. I know she said that living the normal way is just not, she's, she's not about it. And I don't know, maybe Rock will show her something that she hasn't seen before. But who knows, she's always shitting on Rock about, about his, uh, you know, his blue collar life or whatever but uh, I guess we're just gonna have to keep going and see so um, for now that was episode 5 of Black Lagoon thank you for watching with me ciao